Tim here at the uh, yet to be named pub with another episode of Pub Talks. Uh, this is episode 28 and I've been getting some mail from people, uh, email and, and postcards and stuff. Uh, this is one from uh, Adam in uh, Houghton, Michigan. Love, love, love. <laughs> Jan Yinkelheimer. The, the painting instructor. So it's they want to see more. This is he's not the only one. People want to see more of Jan Yinkelheimer. So uh, against my better judgment, here's another episode of Jan Yinkelheimer. Oh hello and welcome to Painting with Jan. I'm your host, Jan Yinkelheimer. We're going to paint a portrait of old granddad. Now, if you remember, the first thing we have to do is find some reference material. Here's the, the reference material that we got for today. It's a bottle of old granddad, and it actually looks quite a... Well, it doesn't look very much like my granddad at all, but this is what we'll be using for reference material. Now you remember last time I told you I was a method painter, which means you have to ingest your subject, which is necessary to derive the full spirit of what you're painting. The, oh, oh, I smell the bouquets, beautiful. Okay. Now remember the first thing you have to do after the other first thing that we did was to set your palette. Again, I don't know if this is the correct term, but it's what I call it. And then we put the flesh color, put grandmother, granddad's flesh, that's what it's called. Right there, this is granddad's, no, it's called Naples yellow. Well, a little bit of sky blue. Maybe we can put, oh, excuse me. There, that should do it for now. We can always add something later. We can always add this, add this right now. Baby poop brown, that's my one of my Hey, now that we've set our pattern, I have a surprise for you. We're not going to start on a white canvas, no. I went to an art crawl, a, a, a starving artist sale, and found this hideous piece of work that someone was trying to sell. Can you believe that? They were going to paint right over that. I picked it up for two dollars, which is cheaper than a canvas cost. Now, first what we have to do, after the other first, before they follow the first first, is to figure out, is there anything in the canvas that we can salvage, that we can bring into the new painting? So, let's look at it here. We get out our paint and start going right into the painting with our new idea of old granddad. So I'm going to put, since so it says, do this as a coat, put his head right there, right up on top there, and he's hit. Grandma, granddad had big ears, rather big ears, so we're going to put those ears right out there, like that. There, beautiful ears, big, beautiful ears. The nose of granddad is looking like, a little bit like that, and Come in with a big nostril nose, big nostril nose in like old granddad head. He looked like one of those noses with the glasses on the nose. Remember how it spritzed with a certain that was mm. like that. And then it's just smeared it away, smeared it away. There, that looks like granddad now. No. That doesn't look at all like Randy, but that's okay. We're going to fix it up, so stay tuned. <laughs> Come on, let it dry. No time for painting like letting it dry. There's no, there's no reason to, never mind. I lost the red nose. His grandfather had a red nose, so we're going to come up with a red nose. That, that's all I remember of my granddad was in a red nose. I don't know why. It's outside. Put granddad outside. Put the brush on like this, like the sky, beautiful sky. 
beautiful sky on both sides of the granddad. There, don't touch it. There, don't touch his ears. There's some the clouds in the sky. Okay, right? Now, granddad had some glasses on. Like that. Actually, this isn't a lot of my life, but I do have similar like that. And then his eyes, put it right there in like that. Very delicate eyes. Now, now, this is a magic happening. There's some, can you feel it? We're going to have some magic. Because we're going to make the grass come in from the fields. And the grass comes in the fields right there. Oh, look at how it's reacting to the rain. Where there's teeth, we'll talk in the town. <laughs> so, let's put some teeth in the granddad here. Yeah? Let's put the big mouth in it. I liked his teeth. They were beautiful. We used to play with them. We took him out of the jar at night and played with them. They were soaked in by his bed. When he was sleeping, we'd pick him up and say, Hey, look at Grandpa's teeth. Okay, then he has a smile. Like that. This is, okay, now watch this. This is beautiful. Little bit, a little flat. Little, little, little flat. Then put it brightness of the eyes. It makes the eyes pop like the pop eyes. There. Oh. That is grand. Like this. And the shadow, we need a shadow to under the chin like that. Put it under there like that. Then yeah, see you next time when we're going to be dancing from a beautiful live model. Voluptuous woman, Mrs. Muckian is going to, the widow of Muckian is going to model for us and we're going to show you how to paint from a live model. So see you next time. You've been watching Painting with Jan with your host, Jan Yinkelheimer. Mm. Wow. You need more than a box of wine to get through that kind of stuff. Uh, speaking of wine, hey, uh, I got the wine paintings out today. This is wine and cheese, you know. Always have cheese with your wine so you can say, I'm not drinking alone, I got cheese. So, uh, hey, time to go. This is Tim from the Yet to Be Named Pub saying thanks for joining us and see you next time on Pub Talks. Pub Talks has been brought to you by FunArtStudio.com. Fun art for home and business. And by a major chub from the Grant Foundation. <laughs>